Okay, I'm talking to Michael Gaskell, who last night won the second prize in the BP Portrait Award 2015. And uh, for his portrait of Eliza, Michael normally paints in egg tempera, and he's been in the BP portraits uh, five times, seven times all together? Seven times in total, and I've been uh, shortlisted six times, and I've been second prize with my last four entries. <laughs> so you had a gap of five years and came straight back in as shortlisted? Yeah, it's 2010 was the last time yeah. I entered. And, that was the Daphne Todd year, wasn't it? Yeah, that was when Daphne yeah. Todd was. And then I, I've done commissions and various other things like in the period between them. But this is the first portrait that I've had that um, I felt I wanted to enter. Um, I mean, I normally try and enter things which uh, have a sort of, you know, I strive for a sort of quality in what I do. And this painting, I think, exemplifies everything that I strive to do as a painter. Now tell me about the change in media, because I've no, always known you as an egg tempera yeah, painter, I'm, and you're painting in acrylic. I haven't stopped painting in egg tempera. I mean, I, what I did was, about, I did a portrait, I did a portrait commission, which took quite a long time to do, and which was in egg tempera, and uh, it's on my website, uh, it's a portrait of, um, it's, an, it's an American art collector, he's got a very distinctive pair of glasses on, which is why you, you'll know it when you see it. It took me a long time to do it, and it's done in egg tempera. And I think it's probably the best egg tempera portrait that I've done, um, but it took a long time. And I sort of thought at the end of it that I, I, I like the idea of challenging myself to do something different. Yeah. And so working in acrylic was a way of challenging myself to try and see if I could paint in a completely different way. And had you actually got an experience painting in tiny, acrylic? Tiny, This is the first picture that I've ever finished in acrylic. This is your first one. Excuse me, I'm just going to go in and show people some of the detail. I mean, just look at the detail on, on the uh, walk and the weft and the hairline. And it's just amazing that this is your first painting. I've done some tiny little studies in acrylic, but I've never actually done a, a proper finish. I mean, it was interesting doing it because it did take me a long time to pick up. Did you paint it in the same way as you would with egg tempera? Uh, I think, well, the, the main aim of it was that you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. So, I can't. I so, would have... so if you knew my egg tempera work and you saw this, you'd probably assume it. Was I egg never. Um, I, I was that's surprised. Good. That's, open. that's good. I assumed it was the same until I came to write the blog post. And I went, what? Do you say it's acrylic? It was interesting because one of the judges, uh, Peter Longman, said to me last night that it, I think you were there, and he said yeah. it's done in egg tempera. And I said, no, it isn't. It's done in acrylic. And he was yeah. really shocked about it. Yeah. Well, that's, I mean, that's good because in a way that's sort of, it's quite gratifying for me because one of the things was that I hoped it would have all the same qualities yeah. and, and if people had responded to yeah. it in that way, then, you know, I think the impression it leaves me with is that, you know, that that's the case. I mean, working in acrylic is, a lot of people um, who work in egg tempera, I think, do a little bit of acrylic paint as well because it's water-based. Yeah. Um, and because you can do the, you know, the opaque colours and the lots of glazing, and the technique that I use for it is very similar to the one that I use with. Um, so tiny little strokes. Very, very tiny. And you're glazes. using what sort of like double zeros? Very small brushes. Yeah. Um, and the surface is built up with tiny, tiny little glazes of paint. Can I ask you which brushes do you like best for your well, egg tempera I, in this? I discovered about four years ago that brush company called Rosemary's Brushes and I get all my brushes from, from them and I was reluctant because it's mail order I was quite reluctant to get brushes yeah. mail order because I, I like to actually see the brush yeah. because sometimes you get a perfect what looks like a perfect brush and there might be one or two yeah. um, little tiny hairs that yeah, are too yeah. long and the paint just doesn't go on and you find yourself having to trim them and stuff but what I found with those brushes was even their order, the quality of them is really, really good. So for, 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 for working on this, where I want a slightly stiffer brush, I use um, it's 
it's a synthetic and savoury mix. So you get the stiffness of like a synthetic brush, but you get the sort of softness of a sable. And then for when I want to work um, more, in a more detailed way, I use uh, the Kalinsky sable ones, and I buy the very smallest brushes. That right, have. so you're working like a miniature painter, but bigger. Yeah, and some, a few people have said that about my work, that it gives the impression of being a miniature, but it's yeah. actually on a really big scale. I mean, it's good for a certain size. Once you get above a certain yeah. size, the amount of time it takes to produce a miniature, yeah. which is so, it takes you so long that you begin to wonder whether, you know, you really <laughs> need to start rethinking your how long? How long did this one actually take to do? I, it, it was done over a period of about nine months, but I wasn't working on it all the time. No. So probably in total. I mean, I, I used to say to people it takes about 12 weeks to do one, but sometimes it takes a lot longer than yeah. that. Sometimes it takes, well, it very rarely takes me less than that. Yeah. But um, they sort of finish when I can't really see anything else to do on them. Yeah. But what I do do on, on them is so small that I don't really yeah, notice yeah, what, yeah. You know, what I've done. So I, at the end of the day, I'll look at it and I think what I do. And you're going to be like it. anybody else. So there comes a point where you have to walk away just in yeah, case you spoil yeah. it. And there's a, I was saying before to someone that uh, um, there's a, there's a, I think it's a Paul Valerie quote about poetry. The poem is, um, poems are never finished, they're just abandoned. And I think there's a similar <laughs> thing with paintings where you just basically have to at some point decide it's finished. And I think with this one, there was a certain point that I just thought, I don't think I can do anything to it that will materially change it that anybody would see. Yeah. And when I can't see it as well, you just think, well, yeah. that's the time to call a home to it. So last question, um, are you going to be submitting next year? Um, well, somebody said that to me last night. The good thing about it is that you can submit this year. And my wife said, uh, does, did he realise how long it takes you to do a painting? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I didn't. Well, I, the judges were saying to me, but Michael's not one. That means he can come back again. Yeah, he can come back next year. <laughs> I mean, I've never said that I wouldn't submit a, a, a picture again. I mean, if I had a sort of picture that I was really pleased with, yeah. I would. I mean, it's. it's I, I was saying to someone earlier on, I was like, to be in the show, I was really, really thrilled to be in the show. Yeah. And when I was, when they told me I was shortlisted, I was, I was probably just so surprised. I think people were, people were quite surprised about how surprised I was yeah. about it. Yeah. But I was genuinely, and I, I mean, I am genuinely really thrilled to come second. Yeah. You know. And it's not bad. So ten thousand for second, no, is it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not as if the, the people don't win, don't get anything. Yeah, anything. yeah. 10,000 pounds is a, it, for, a, for yeah. somebody who, you know, is, is a, you know, his job is an artist. Yeah. And, you know, your, your, your income is up and down. It's yeah. fantastic. Fantastic. But yeah, so so it's, it's, it's but the whole experience is just so positive. And well, meeting the other people, the other artists. And well, I, I was groaning last night when you didn't win, but I have to say, I'm really pleased that I'll be able to see some more of your work here at some point in the future. Well, I, I, I hope that, I hope I do something. And if you, if you exhibit with the Royal Society portrait paintings as well, that would be even better. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it a go. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you very much, Michael. Thanks,